So what I've done is, is I've just completed all of my preliminary work. I have created my survey database, which is essentially an empty container right now. There's nothing in it. I have configured my equipment database. I have created a figure prefix database. I've configured my line work code sets and I've created a description key set for this project which we're calling Campus Creek. So now we can begin importing our survey data. And before we do that, there's still one more step yet that we need to do and that is we need to save our drawing. So I'm going to do a save as I'm going to save my drawing and I'm going to save this to my file management so I don't lose all the work that I've just done. I'm going to go to projects. I'm going to stick it in my Campus Creek project into CAD. And I'm going to save it in a folder. And I'm probably going to save it in the survey databases folder since that's where I'm at with this file. I'm going to call this Campus Creek. And I'm going to version this out. And call it version 01, another underscore under there, and click save. Now I'm ready to import my point file. So before I import my point file, one thing that I need to do is I need to locate where my point file is at. So where I would want to save it is in my CAD directory, in my source folder, and I'm going to, I'm going to place a copy of my point survey file here that I received from the surveyor. It's going to copy it here. So right now it's called Campus Creek 09122012 underscore point data and the surveyor has nicely put in the file name Easting and Northing to help us understand that when we open this file that this is how the points are organized. We have a we have an Easting value and the Northing value. It's in the file name so that we cannot be confused. Now going back to our Civil 3D, I'm going to go to the Home tab. And actually before I do that, I'm going to click back on my Survey tab and click back on my Campus Creek DB and make sure that it is open. And since when I right click on it, I see Close Survey Database option, that means I must have it open. So I'm going to go up here to the Home tab and where it says create ground data in this group here. I'm going to be interested in this import survey data button. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And once I do that, the import survey data wizard will open. And the first step is to specify the database. So all I have to do is just click on it to select it and then click next. And then it says specify data source. So this is where we, where it says data source type, we click the drop down and we indicate what our data source is. So it's not a field book file, not a land MX file. In this case, it is a point file. And as soon as I do that, we have some more options that expand out here towards the bottom. And the first one says selected file. So I'm going to click this plus sign over here to the right. And I just need to navigate out to where I saved my survey file. So it's on my E drive in projects. And it's in my Campus Creek directory. And it's located inside my CAD folder in my zero so source. I'm just going to select this Campus Creek file and click open. And then as soon as I do that, it says specify point file format. We have all kinds of things that just kind of populate down here at the bottom. So this is the question is what format is our file in? So if you remember from an earlier tutorial, we said that it was organized by point, easting, northing, Z elevation, and then description. So I'm just going to open that file again really quick just so that we can recall how this whoops, how this is organized. So if we recall from an earlier tutorial, we said that this first point let me just scroll up some a little bit here so that these points can become a little bit more familiar. We said that this first point was our point description, so we called this the D. The second part here was our easting, and this is how I always remember it. So this is kind of like our X direction. 
The second set here is kind of our Y direction, or we can call this our northing. And then this third set here I call the Z elevation, and I call it this way, that way I can always remember. And then this last part here is the description. So this is actually a P, the letter P here. So we have P, E, N, Z, D, and this is how I always remember this. And we actually have one here that matches that, P, E, N, Z, D. And after it says comma delimited, and if we notice here we have commas that separate out our data, and that's what comma delimited means, is that our data is separated by commas. So this is the one that we want to select. So I'm going to choose this P, E, N, Z, D. And then down here in this lower window, we get kind of a preview of what we're going to get. So there's our old light post, our raw description, our point elevation, our northing, our easting, and our point number. So this looks pretty correct. This is how it's supposed to be. You can actually scroll down this list down here and see what you're going to get. And we got some zero elevation stuff going on here, which is going to import which is fine. In a later tutorial I'll show you how to filter those things out. So right now we have this all selected correctly, so I'm going to go ahead and click Next. Then here it says to specify a network. So in our case we don't really have one, but if we want to we can create one. This is optional. So I'm going to go ahead and do that just so, just so that you can see how to do that. So I'm going to click on Create New Network. And maybe I'll call this Campus Creek Network and click OK. And then I can select on my Campus Creek Network and then click Next. And then here in Import Options there are some settings that we probably want to change. So over here where it says Current Figure Prefix Database it is set to Sample so we want to actually change that to the one that we created. And then it says process line work during import. We'll go ahead and change that to yes, even though we don't really have any. And over here it says current line work code sets. We want to change that to the one that we created. And it says import line work sequence. And then we're going to do by import order. We'll just leave that at default. And then import event name. We'll just leave that at the default as well. Um, import event description and assign offset to point identifiers. I'm going to leave that at default. Point identifier offset. I'm going to leave this area at default as well. And here it says insert network objects. I'll go ahead and put yes to that. Insert figure objects. We'll go ahead and leave that at yes. And maybe this insert network objects. We'll just leave change that to no since we don't really have any. I'm just going to scroll down this list. In this very bottom it says insert survey points. We actually want to change that to a yes. So now I'm going to go ahead and click finish. And this is what we get.